Throughout our lives, we all dream of achieving certain jobs. And typically, there are several pathways to get there. Well, it's no different when it comes to being a mechanic for a top supercross rider. It will take some education and experience, but it will definitely require dedication and perseverance. I'm Jason Matoy. I'm from Duncan, Arizona, so borderline of New Mexico. A small town, not even a stoplight in the town. My grandpa was a horseback guy, so I decided to sell my horse and buy my first dirt bike with that money and just started messing around with that thing as a kid. And about sixth grade is when uh, I decided I wanted to really be a mechanic. Graduated at 17, moved to Phoenix and had a mountain bike and rode to MMI. Worked in a small mom and pop shop for three years. Moved to Scottsdale, Arizona, worked at a bigger dealership there that had a lot more brands. Still was into bikes, riding on Wednesday nights at a local track. Met a guy, Ricky Rock. He got a job with an amateur kid, and as soon as he left, I said, hey man, don't forget about me. A couple months go by, he calls me. There's a kid, Cole Barbieri, an amateur top rider, and he's looking for a guy. And worked under him for a couple years, and we were actually training for Monster Cup, and just started mingling and talking, and then I ended up running into Malcolm. He said, dude, I'm looking for a practice mechanic. He gave me his dad's number. Next thing you know, I get a text from Big J, walking James Stewart's motorhome, and I'm just kind of shaking, like, holy cow, this is really going on. I look up to his parents, just like they're my parents, you know, they've been there for me a lot, and the whole Stewart family has been really good to me. So around the end of Supercross, he didn't really know what he was doing, and I heard that Factory Cowie was hiring, and they've been on this team, they see how this team operates, and they thought it was gonna be a good fit for me as well. When I took the job here at Cowie, I really didn't even know it was Jason. Now working with him for the past year, good dude to work for, and I mean, we respect each other, and he's a humble person. The only advice I can give for people that have dreams to come in the industry is don't be afraid to work hard and try to talk to people, meet people, and things will come your way.